Talk, you know, it wasn't no contracts back in the day. It was just a sign, it was the shake of a hand. And if you said something and you didn't buy by it, it was a consequence to your action, to your words. And to this day, I buy by that. So if I say I'm gonna do something, it's guaranteed it's gonna be done. So you have, you have a lot going on right now in your social life outside of boxing. You just had a, you just had a baby. Mm. You're on a reality show now. How do you fit it all in? training for a professional fight as well as your career? How do you do all of it? I mean, I just think life itself is just mental. You know, I do a lot of visualization, I do a lot of meditation. You know, it strengthens my mind and through a lot of situations that I go through and, and having a baby and being on a reality show and stuff, all that's fun stuff, you know. Some people know how to maintain it and some people don't. I'm just the type of guy that I multitask a lot of things. I can do a lot of things. Even when I'm talking to you, my mind can be in so many different places right now and still be able to comprehend and interact with you right now. So, you know, I think I was made for a lot of things. Boxing is just not what all I could do. I, I'm so talented in so many different areas. You know, it just, you know, it just comes about a time. Everybody have a, a time when they're able to do certain things. It just, it's just the waiting part. It's just being patient, you know, and letting things come. Sometimes we can move too fast and miss out on our blessing. But me, you know, I'm a, I'm a laid back guy. My personal life, I'm just a cool, calm, collective dude. I like to live life and I love peace. Unfortunately, what I do in the ring, I turn into the bronze bomb, and the bronze bomb don't give a fuck about nothing. So, with you being on TV now, it's kind of like put you in a lot of different homes that might not have been boxing fans prior to seeing you. Is that, how important is that to you? I think it's very important. You know, so people need to know who's the heavyweight champion of the world is. <laughs> America got a bad man. Yeah. He got an ass whooper all right here in America. You know, and I think it's important people should understand and should know who that is. And you know, for that reason, that's why I do the things I do. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm so competitive. That's why I speak the way I speak. Sometimes, you know, it may ignore people. It may, people, it may get on people's nerves, you know. I've never hear it in front of my face, but, you know. <laughs> But I understand it, you know, and I do it to, to show people that, you know, I'm going to speak it and you're going to see me deliver it, you know. And I think you get the most respect when you say something you're going to do and you do it. Look at Ali, you know. I mean, people hated him. They said he was a big mouth. He ran his mouth too much. And then, but he proved himself many a times. And that's the things I want to do. I want to speak what I say I'm going to do and you watch me, watch me work.